Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Seftimore Podcast. Today is a big one. I wanted to write a letter to 2019. New Year, New Year's upon us. We have what, like five days left? Five days left in this uh, this year. So, New Year, new goals, new things, and I wanted to let you guys know what I was going to be doing. Uh, how my 2018 was and going into the future so without further ado this is the new year manifesto letter to 2019 the new year is upon us 2018 has been one hell of a ride from streaming for the first time since 2015 to the birth of my son jacob 2018 will be a year to remember I wanted to write an article today do this podcast to tell you what to look forward to me uh, to from me in the upcoming year my goal is to inspire you to achieve what you want in 2019, to start that content journey, stay in it for the long haul. So my 2018s consisted of uh, starting my stream back up on Mixer. I was on Twitch back in 2015. Um, and then I wanted to get back on the bandwagon after finding the Bro Man podcast. So I jumped back in and started new on Mixer, which I'm currently at, not streaming at the moment, but I will be back at some point. Uh, networking with dozens of fellow content creators that I now call my friends. Gigantic, gigantic list of people I met in this year alone, hoping to see everybody at Guardian Con in the new year and meet everybody face to face. That's one of my big, big goals for the new year is to meet all you people in uh, in the in real life and mingle with you that way. <laughs> Uh, joining multiple stream teams containing some of the best streamers on the platform. Uh, thankfully, I'm still part of these. Number one being the Positive Pineapples. Number two being the Shed. And number three being the Magic Club. All great, great stream teams. And I wrote in an article and did a podcast on the power of stream teams. So if you're interested in that, I have a link in the article here. Or I'll have it in the description below if you're on YouTube or on the podcast. Editing a few new vlogs. These will be more in 2019. I just put a new one out from my birthday this year. Never got around to editing. It was more into streaming, and which is funny because I a lot of times when I get burnt out on games, I'll sit there and be like, what do I want to stream? And I never know. And the, the vlogs are always there. I have so many. I probably have like 10 to 15 in, you know, just raw footage waiting to be edited. And I just recorded some stuff for Christmas as well. So look forward to that. Should be a lot more coming in the new year. Starting my podcast up as a solo caster, uh, putting these podcasts up on both YouTube and Anchor. I started with my one friend. We had the B Plus podcast, which was more like geek culture, all that. And we just stopped it because of personal reasons. And I didn't know what I was going to do, so I started doing this solo. But obviously having a script in front of me of an article that I write helps that out. But we've surpassed, we're about at 2,500 listens right now. So doing great with that, and I'm going to continue to be doing doing that. And we may have a resurgence of the B-plus podcast coming up, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, being a guest on two of my favorite podcasts. The Bro Man Podcast and the Cyber Powered Hour, which is Pack Devil and Wielding Hammer. I hope to get on there again. That was one of the most fun times I, I had was, was hanging out with those guys and talking. Publishing a multitude of articles with audio and video to accompany them. Accompany them. This is huge. I highly recommend if you start a blog or start anything like that to make the video, make the audio. It's super simple now. I'm thinking about uh, writing an ebook. I think that's in my things that I'm going to be doing in 2019, writing an ebook to sell um, on how to redistribute your content included in there would be, I'd see if I get that from pack and get the cyber powered hour where I spoke about it and maybe put out some videos that accompany it, put together this whole like course of how I redistribute my content. I've had a lot of people ask me and I would like to do that. And obviously if you are in my discord, you would get that for free and maybe help me edit. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, but we'll see how that goes. Surpassing 1,000 followers on Twitter. That was pretty big. I didn't even 
uh, expect that. One of my viewers hit me up in the middle of the year and was like, you're over a thousand, a thousand followers on Twitter. I had no idea. And of course, the biggest thing in my life this year was the birth of my son, which has been uh, quite a journey so far. <laughs> uh, obviously, in positive ways, it's been it's been crazy. Now he's seeing us and smiling and all that just melts my heart. It's it's pretty pretty incredible. Even through the hardships that we face, uh, a baby smile, you know, could could just melt your heart, regardless of how hard. Uh, the previous couple hours or previous week has been everything I accomplished this year was because I wanted to do it. When you start a plan and by any means necessary, you work towards those goals, you will succeed. The rewards in life come to those who are willing to put in the work. I've been doing this for two years to a small audience. There's no time for days off when I've gotten where I've not gotten to where I want to be. We're all pushing to do something we love. Unfortunately, the only way there is through hard work. We all want our content to reach a ton of people, to be the happiest we can be, to take care of our families. The only way to do this is to work your ass off and hope that someone out there cares. The flip side. Creating content isn't hard if you have the passion for it. This is why I say streaming was always my favorite. I love writing. I love recording these. I love doing all these. But streaming was something that I never got burnt out on, and I love doing it every single day. The problem with creators like myself is taking on too much at one time, though. In 2019, I'll be looking at analytics for the content and doubling down on those that are growing. Platforms that have been growing for me this year are actually this blog and the podcast. I spoke the other day about me checking my analytics on this blog and seeing in November I had 850 new users. Had no idea. No idea that was even going on. Uh, Two platforms that I neglected in the past for other endeavors, which the blog and the podcast. Not in the new year. I'll be putting out tons of new articles, which in turn means I have a script. So that means more podcasts and obviously more videos to accompany those. We can all create, but it's moments of reduction that we can truly build. What I mean by that is, you know, we could create all these places, but never build something. So building and creating are different monsters. If your audience is in a place that is being neglected, then you're just spinning your wheels. So if your audience is on a blog or your audience is in a podcast and you're just doing YouTube or streaming and neglecting that, then you're just spinning your wheels. People want more articles. People want more podcasts. People want more of these things that you may be neglecting. Uh, SeftimoreLive.com has gotten over 800 new users stopping by in November alone. Seftimore Podcast is over 2,500 plays. I can see where people are consuming this content. That's where I'll be focusing on in 2019. The other platforms won't totally be neglected. I know where the people are, and that's where I need to be producing consistently. When starting out, it's fine to create to create across many platforms to see which one uh, gives you the highest ROI for your time and investment. Once you figure that out, you double down there. Throughout the year, tons of ideas pop into my head. If I gave attention to each one, I wouldn't be able to grow anywhere. One of the big factors that people don't speak about when creating is the spectrum of emotions. You need to understand that when you produce content, not everything is going to be a hit. I've gone through many ups and downs in 2018, thinking about quitting, thinking about not doing things anymore, thinking about why am I doing this, and you'll go through everything. That's what a lot of people don't talk about. I think the only person that I heard talk about in depth is actually Broman, where he says, you know, you'll, you'll go through everything. You'll go through every spectrum of emotions because you don't know if people are listening, if people give a shit, if you're just doing this to nobody but that's that's what you got to do i mean any any time you think of that you always got to think the alternative is to do nothing and you know it's not that i condone playing the lottery i don't but you know if you never try you'll never win i mean that could have been the ticket that got you the what what is the one or uh one billion dollar powerball or whatever the hell it's up to now but i don't i don't play the lottery myself but I do play the lottery in this game of content creation every day, every article, every podcast, every stream, everything is you playing the game and you want to get to a place where you enjoy playing more than getting to some certain destination. Um, I've, yeah, I've gone through many ups and downs in 2018. The realization is that when it comes to the, it comes with the territory, feelings of failure are fine as long as you don't give up. The only way to succeed in this game is to not only outwork other people, but outlast them as well. 
There are many individuals that I've met this year alone that have faced the spectrum of emotions and quit immediately. They thought I wasn't working and stopped producing. I know that isn't you, and it sure as hell isn't me. Embrace the roller coaster of emotions and move forward into the new year. So what can you expect from me in the new year? So this podcast right here will continue to be produced as much as I can. With so many listens on the platform, it would be idiotic of me not to go all in. Uh, like I said before, developing an ebook for creators to automate content, repurpose their content for platforms they're on. Um, I'll teach you how to repurpose it across you know, multiple platforms, multiple outlets. Uh, with the new baby here, streaming has still been at a standstill. In 2019, I want to get back into streaming on Mixer and continue to push to become a partner one day on the platform. Shout out to uh, my buddy Hidden, as always, uh, Mixer.com slash H-I-D-D-N-E-N. He's surpassed 1,500 now, so that push to partner is uh, upon us with Hidden, and there's no one that deserves it more and worked his ass off over many, many, many years of streaming than that man. So make sure you go give him a follow. Uh, vlogs will be edited either on stream or in my spare time. YouTube channel analytics showed that the videos with the most views are my vlogs. So I want to deliver more of that to the audience. Uh, Seftamorelive.com will not be neglected again. I've done this. As of right now, after two years, I'm sitting around 100 articles published. In 2019, I want to publish 100 articles in one year. Writing is, to me, the most important skill to have over everything. I want to hone in on that. It will not only benefit myself, but you guys as well. This one is a big one for me. I want to create an email list to be able to directly connect with my audience via your inbox. The emails will not only be direct links to the content, but more personal insights. They'd be shorter, not quite blog posts, uh, but just, you know, what uh, I've been doing on a daily basis, pictures, things like that, that I don't really share on, on everything. And I feel that if I had an email list for my most passionate fans or most passionate people uh, that follow me, I think I'd be more comfortable sharing more uh, personal uh, insights into my life. So conclusion and aspirations for everybody out there uh, for, the, for the new year. Whatever good or bad has happened this year, understand that the past does not matter. You become what or whoever you want in 2019. Two, ride that roller coaster of emotions into the new year, embracing the highs and the lows. Three, decide that regardless of what happened in 2018, you will make this new year the best one yet. Four, network with people in your space. Focus on the people that lift you up. Minimize time with those that drag you down. That's a big one. Five, remember to practice gratitude. This is something I have to do personally. Every chance you get, no matter how bad it is, someone somewhere has it worse than us. Six, do not let the fear of the unknown hold you back. If fear is holding you back, then that is what you need to do right now. Seven, focus on your work without telling other people. When we are building, no one cares. When we achieve success, everyone wants to know how we did it. Eight, experience as many things as you can. Practice saying yes to adventures and no to material things that will that are just a, a quick dopamine hit and then we don't give a shit about them a week later. Nine, kindness always wins the long game. 10, own your skills. Always be learning in whatever platform you're on. YouTube videos, books, anything like that. Hone your skills to what you want to do better. 2019 is going to be the best year yet for all of us. I believe this with every fiber in my body. Work hard, keep a healthy mindset. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me in 2018. Let's crush it in 2019. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Like I said, I appreciate you guys going into the new year. If you need me, my DMs are always open. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, wherever. Uh, it's all at Seftimore. Everything I produce content on is at Seftimore, S-E-F-T-I-M-O-R. And if you want to support the blog, podcast, <clears throat> YouTube, uh, we have links to Amazon. Uh, podcast subscription and tips so if you want to support you can always do that but a subscription um subscribing to the podcast or sharing it is worth its weight in gold as well so and it's free so i appreciate that thank you everyone for listening thank you everyone for watching i'll see you again soon peace